Hey guys, what's going down? Thought today would be a great day. Do a pond video. Don't need your moccasins when you get a pond. Oh, uh, when you're going in, moccasins can stay over there. So, woo! It's a little chilly. Ain't too too bad, but it's a little chilly. And of course, ooh, slimy water. My feet are slimy. Ooh. So I had to mock them though. So my pond. What can I say about it? Other than I'd be as cheap as I possibly could. I'm talking dirt cheap. The full pond. Talking the price. What you would probably pay for a small little line if you'd buy it like a Home Depot or a Menard. Something along those lines. So let's get into this. What did I do? How did I do it so cheap? Yeah, you need to go there. You need to get That's Mama getting there telling everybody to come back so she can get a break. But anyway, so what did I do to make this so cheap? Now, well, first of all, I dug the hole. Digging, digging all day long. I dug for quite a while. I dug for about a week. I started off with the skid steer. Not gonna lie, I got a backhoe. I could have dug this all out with a backhoe, but there's a thing about pond. If you want them to be a certain way and with a backhoe, it's not, not that good. There's no way I could have dug this thing out with my backhoe. Not to the way I wanted it. So, right down in here, got a four and a half foot deep hole. It goes to a four foot circle, kind of oblong teacup shape. And then it goes to a two and a half feet deep ring that goes around the whole entire edge. And then over that way, I have, you know, it's about anywhere from a foot to six inches deep, three inches deep, and that's my, that's my filtering area right there. So that's where I'm going to get all my plants grown and all that good stuff down there. Get it pretty nice. So, but let's get back to the thing. Oh, hold on, guys. I'll show you what's so cool about a pond. That's part about a pond. Love it. So let's get into this. So, what I have running this is Amazon pump, $35.99, does 600 gallons per minute, hooked up into a three quarter inch pipe, hose, just a regular old water line, nothing fancy, just clear pipe, PVC pipe, or clear uh, hosing. Now the real trick is, is what I got down there. Now I'm not going to pull this out so you guys can see this because I got it down in there, it's set up, it's happy, it's the way it is. But what I got down there is I actually have, so the filter, or I, mean, I shouldn't say the filter, but the pump is encased inside of two strainers, like you'd use for noodles, plastic ones, and I drilled holes around the outside, and I stuffed it full of the round scrubbies that you'll see that are in the bottom of the other filter, so that the pump itself would be super filtered basically so the, the big chunks and stuff could not sand whatever could not get to the actual um, pump we don't want that to happen but then we'll get into this here and then I'll tell you what I did it was even stupider so here's my filter very simple very 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 simple all it is two plastic totes 
we'll pull it up for you. Get this out of here for a second. There you go, first piece of the puzzle. The regular old white. The reason they use white is because it makes it easy to tell it's dirty. But reusable shopping bag. Act as a filter media. You can kind of get a good feel for what this one looks like. So you can, there's different kinds, there's tons of different kinds. And I think this one here that I've found is probably the best. It's got a nice porous surface on it. Breathes so well. And I use these for all kinds of stuff around here. I mean, they are great. Produce, everything, you know. They're nice and soft and they work great for stuff. But, so I take one of these guys. Boom, awesome. 30 cents. Depends on where you get them. Sometimes you get them free. I got this one free, actually. In my local grow supply store up in Madison, Paradigm Gardens. Just awesome place. Awesome, awesome place. Good people. They take care of you. So the next piece of the puzzle is going to be this. Let's carry this out of here. Let's just pick this right up. Pull it right here quick. So I can give you a little showdown on what the actual thing is. I'll bring you over here. Right, come on over here, guys. So, let's see. We'll make sure we got a good view of what I'm trying to show you. So you see I got some stones, I got the stones just to hold these down, all these are, these little scrubby things that you buy at, like you know, the little scotch spray pads or whatever, but these are just really generic from the dollar store, like 10 for a buck, you know, super cheap. So we got 60 cents on that, we've got a dollar on these, took all 10 of them, actually I think I bought two of these, so we'll say two dollars on these, because I laid them all down and overlapped them so there's two layers. And then, you put the rocks in to hold those down, make sure they stay down. On the bottom of this, show you what we did here. If I can get her apart with one hand, it's always fun to do with one hand. You know, everybody that's a big claim to fame on YouTube. If you can use one hand, you're a pro, right? Right? Let's see if we can get this up so we can see what's on the bottom side of this. So you see all those little holes that I drilled? The little boogers everywhere? They're actually holes. And so what happens is when the water comes down through there. Sorry about that, guys. That was a little wild. So when the water comes down through there and you get an original uh, oh my nose. Sorry. Water goes down through there, filters out as much sediment as it can through these filter. Uh, first it goes into there, filters out as much sediment as it can through there. What little particulates do make it through there and get into here. Not only does that, but it also acts as a biofilter of a somewhat. And after it travels through this one, it drops down into this one. And this is where we get our true biofilter. So these little scrubby balls, right? Do the same thing that I was talking about that I used down in there. Oh, see, puppy. Down in there. And then, so what these are is in my actual secondary biofilter. So all this, as the water runs down through all the holes, runs through these guys. And these are my biofilters. I clean these out maybe once a month. Maybe once every month and a half, two months even. It all depends on how clean the water's coming out, how well it's flowing. I, I don't really pay much attention to this because it's not a big deal. If the water starts flowing really bad and I can't get it clean, and I can't get it flowing good cleaning this out and that out, then I know that this is the problem and I'll go into this and clean this out. I've only cleaned this out, I've had this set up for about three months now, and I've only cleaned this out one time, once. That's it. So, let's put this back into here. Alright, we got that, and I'll take this whole thing, and let's get her back where she belongs. Where she belongs. So 
So as far as cleaning, so you can see how that sits down in there. You can see how all that goes through there. And then once the water starts flowing, you can see. So I put my pump in here. All she does is fills up. She'll fill and fill and fill. Keep on going. She'll just clean away all day long. Until she starts to dribble over the top, and then when she starts to dribble over the top, that's when you know you need to get her clean. So here's my panel that I got, 30 watt, 18 volt panel. The pump that I got, 24, 24 volt pump. Um, I think they recommended it at 28 watts or something like that, but I figured chance of me getting perfect solar and getting the actual whole 30 watts out of that solar panel it's probably pretty slim anyways and it's also a lower voltage so it isn't going to overrun it if you run a 24 volt system on that directly it will not run it will lock up and it won't work anymore so you have to run less than 24 volts the 18 volt actually runs at 21.3 when I uh, metered it out so I don't know if you can see them down in there Guppies. That's a really little baby guppy in there. Or I should say mosquito fish, sorry. Mosquito fish. Mosquito fish. Eat the mosquito larvae. Eat them all. Eat all the larvae. Nobody wants mosquito larvae. Nobody. Oh, there you go. Okay, there's red. Let me see him. See, I did a little thing that. I don't know if I should be cooking it with you, right? But what I did is I uh, did a little hybridization. So I wanted to have minnow fish in here. And the thing about minnow fish is that they can handle the cold. So when this thing freezes over in the winter and settles down and does its thing, I won't have to worry about them dying off as long as I got some aeration down at the bottom. So the other thing is, is that I wanted to, or an open channel on the top one of the two. So the other thing is I wanted to have them cool looking. Now I don't know if you guys know anything about middle fish, but they're not that cool. They're pretty plain. They're, you might get a random one that looks interesting, but for the most part they're pretty plain. So I took some fancy guppies and I mixed them with me. I mixed them up with some uh, middle fish and uh, we're going to see if they'll uh, hang out and they'll make it. And I don't know if they will or not, but we'll see. We're going to see. So we can get a good view of these guys here. They're hanging out, having a good time. Fish, 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 fish. I'm going to hit now. They like to stay in the deep part for some reason. I don't know why they like it down there so much, but they sure do. Or over in the rocks over there. They really enjoy the rocks, too. But, yeah, so I figured I'd give you a little rundown of what I've gotten done with the pond so far and kind of get you a good video. So, you know, a little solar setup. I think that was like 28 bucks or 29 bucks, 30 bucks or something along those lines. A little thing there. And I have one more little itty bitty solar panel that actually just pushes water. You can see that pipe. There's a line that runs up that way, and all it does is cycle water through to make that not stagnant up top. So, yeah, she's uh came out pretty well. Can't complain. Looks pretty slick. All right, guys, he's out. Have a good one.